But in case you didn't know, this is the Costco Japanese A5 Wagyu. Uh, this is some of the best steak in the world and having it available at Costco is uh, quite an amazing thing. You can see the amount of marbling and fat in these. It's amazing. Uh, so I'm going to do these a little bit differently. I'm going to do them sous vide, of course, but um, Wagyu is incredibly rich, so I'm going to divide these up into smaller pieces because, I mean, each of these is about a pound, and this stuff is so rich, I, you cannot eat, or I cannot eat a pound of this at one time. I could maybe do a quarter pound. So I think I'm going to divide these up into four, or maybe six pieces, and we'll do it that way. I've left these thaw in the refrigerator for a few days, so they are fully thawed. Oh, my goodness. They don't even really smell like beef. I mean, they, they kind of do, I suppose, but, uh, all right. Wow, that cutting is something incredible. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, I think we'll go fourths. I think that's reasonable. I'm kind of wondering about trimming this fat cap because there's so much intramuscular fat that that's, I mean, it might actually make be nice just to render that out separately because Wagyu fat is something else entirely. Keep those pieces out. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I think I'm going to cut this a little bit. So now we have eight little Wagyu steaks. And there we go. We've got eight steaks, uh, four bags of two each. Now these are going to go in the refrigerator to age for a little while. I, I like a wet aging steak, although I've never done this with Wagyu before, so it's a new experience. And then we'll do some sous vide cookery and then put a little sear on them and try them out. I'm hungry now, but I have to wait. So here we go. These are fresh out of the sous vide aquarium. Uh, they feel incredibly soft. Uh, not going to judge them quite yet, but it's a different feeling than other steaks I've cooked, I have to say. All right, I'm going to cut these open, drain the juices, and then put them in the pan. Not a lot in the way of juices. A little bit hanging out. Oh, these are, wow, these are way different. They feel almost like fish fillets, just in the softness of them. All right, I pat these dry. Now, I think there's a better way of doing this. I mean, patting them dry works really well at first, but I think patting them dry 
and then letting them sit on an air rack in the refrigerator for a few hours to let any other evaporations dry off would probably be a little bit better way to go. But this isn't bad. I think we're going to be okay with these. You're, I mean, they look kind of brown-ish, but I think some of that is probably the spices and the salt that got in there. And I did cook these with MSG, so that's going to be an interesting experiment. Let's uh, pop them in the pan. That's a nice hot pan. Right, you add a little bit of a high smoke point oil. This is grapeseed oil. I'm going to have to get more pretty soon. Oh, that goes up quick. All right, let's do this. Uh, the smoke coming off of these is amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Now I suspect that because these are so thin, I may have overcooked them by searing them for a minute on each side. But let's find out. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Oh. try this. This is my first time ever with Japanese Wagyu A5. And it literally melts in your mouth. It's like eating beef flavored butter, kind of, but really good. Oh my gosh. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I'm going to eat more steak in a little bit, but uh, that is, it's really good. It is, I won't say it's the best steak I've ever had, purely because I think I overdid it with the the sear the first time. I was trying to do a minute per side and I think that was probably too long. Set off the smoke alarms. Um, but the flavor is incredible. The The texture, I, I've never had a texture like that before. It just, it literally just melts. It's, it's not even, it doesn't even feel like beef. It tastes like beef. Um, like really good beef. 
Uh, wow. All right. I think the Costco sticks are cut too thin. They are maybe a centimeter thick, maybe just a little more, about a half inch. Um, and that's not really enough. When you put the crust on, you have to be really careful not to overcook the inside. These may be, I don't know, the sous vide may have been the wrong thing. Uh, but I don't know why it would be. Uh, the Putting the sear on it really, I mean, you have to do it very hot and very fast. So I probably should have done 30 seconds on the side. That probably would have been plenty. Uh, the texture is stunning. Um, flavor is amazing. Uh, I would definitely do this again if I got the chance. I would like to do it with a thicker steak, like probably an inch thick, uh, to give it more of the inside juiciness and a little bit more medium rare. Now I do have some other ones, uh, because I cut the steak up into pieces, uh, I do have some other ones that I can eat later that I can try things a little bit differently. But first time, yes, definitely. And hey, it's my birthday. So, all right. Well, that was fun. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one or you will see me or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Toodles.